All right guys, not a toolbox tour, tool review, number whatever, I can't even freaking remember now. Uh, this, this kit is the FuSaver 8005. This kit comes with uh, three, three different uh, amperages of fuses. This is a 20, 15, and a 10. And then on top of that, I also bought the 5 amp, which doesn't come with this kit, but it, I just throw it in the, the box there. Uh, and what I, what, what I use this for, if you come across something that's blowing fuses, so like say you're blowing a 5 amp fuse repeatedly on a circuit, what, one of the first things I like to do is check what kind of amperage is blowing that fuse. And what I'll, what I'll do is grab this guy, and I'll, I'll show you how it works. So you take, your, you know, take your fuse out of your fuse box, replace it with this, so depending on if it's one of them big ones or if it's a mini fuse, you just drop that in. Uh, and then you can get the adapters too for the other ones with whatever. It, you probably know that if you're, if you're looking at this, right? Uh, and then all you do is connect your 5 amp fuse up. And then what I really, this, this is the other, this, I, mean, I guess this is a twofer. <laughs> this is a, a low amp clamp. So what I'll do is put that on like a, well, yeah, I'll put it on a 20 amp scale. Uh, we'll go DC, uh, and then what I like to do is I'll put that arm clamp around it like that, and then I'll I'll put this into my fuse circuit, and, and then this becomes my fuse, and it's got a little breaker at the top. So if it blows it, the switch flops over. Uh, but what I what I like to see is wh what is it drawing? Like is it pulling 10 amps on a 5 amp circuit? Uh, so it, it's it's kind of like my step one when I'm I'm dealing with a blown fuse. I just want to see what what exactly is going on and the reason I like doing that is if it's a, a fuse circuit that has like a I don't know a radiator fan on it and it's you know it's drawing you know 40 amps or something like that you know that if there's a radiator fan and a bunch of small things that couldn't even draw 40 amps it's kind of like all right let's look at the radiator fan so it, it kind of narrows down your diagnostic work um, you, know, you, you gotta know your circuit you gotta know what's on it uh, if there's one big thing on there and it's like a motor like that and it's uh you know you, you see on here let, let's say you've got 20 amps and you see like 40 amps on here it's one it's a good kind of pointer to say okay what's the biggest thing in the circuit that could be drawing that many amps uh, so if you've got like a rad fan or something on there uh, you know good little check for that uh, it's one of the first things i like to do i also like to make sure that you know this blows when it sees five amps. like if you've got six amps here and this isn't popping these things are a little, they're a little dodgy. Uh, I've seen them, yeah, especially this 5 amp one, I've seen it draw more than 5 amps. And it, it can take a while to, to flip the breaker. So, it'll pop a fuse immediately, but you can put this on a little over 5 amps, it won't, it won't flip the breaker. So you get, you get a little careful with these. Uh, this, this is the fuse saver, and this is made by Unity. Uh, and then this, I think this is up to 600 volts or something like that. So you can use it on your house too. So if you, you know, if you try to diagnose anything with a house voltage or whatever, uh, yeah, it's good for that too. It's got the banana jacks. So if you need to use it for, well, this is pretty versatile. Uh, I'll, I'll try and put links to this and this in the description. Uh, there's also, this is the, the big massive fuse saver kit, uh, which has, you know, everything. Uh, I didn't get this because it was, Definitely stuff in here that I, I don't think I would ever use. So uh, I went cheaper with the, the three kit and then just, just got the five amper uh, as well. Yeah, it worked out to be way cheaper for the automotive world uh, than, you know, yeah, there's buzzers and there's all kinds of things. And there's stuff I wouldn't use, you know. Uh, if I need a buzzer, I'll, I'll hook my power probe up and then, you know, go deal with the circuit then and the power probe will make the noise. Uh, you, know, you really don't need some of the stuff that's in this big one. Uh, unless you want to spend your money, that's fine. But uh, you know, for me, you know, 10, 15, 20, and a five amper, uh, you can't go wrong. So uh, uh, the Unity comes in a little pouch with leads as well there. So uh, yeah, you'll, you'll see, I'll, I'll put a link in the description for it. On to the next one.